I typically do a lot of videos kind of geared more towards landlords, kind of think specifically maybe smaller landlords, mom and pop landlords, but today's video is actually geared more towards tenants. I made this video, which I should have probably done much sooner in my life, but when when tenants have roommates or they sublease, I feel like there is just not enough education to tenants on how like careful a tenant has to be in choosing roommates. So this video is gonna go over like the three vital questions you should ask yourself when you're like contemplating getting some people together to rent an apartment or a house, or you're contemplating replacing a roommate with another roommate, you might wanna look inward and reflect. Does this person, like what, what is my answer to these three questions about this candidate? The first question is, does this person have a history of paying rent? I I can like having a roommate is is really crucial to many people. Rent is high. I completely understand that, especially in many hot markets, metropolitan areas where jobs are, college towns. I, rent is high, and you have to have roommates. That's a part of life. It's an experience that many people have. You also, as best as you can want to vet who you're going to have as a roommate and you want to ask, does this person have a history of paying rent? Now, I understand, like going through this video, a lot of it's going to feel like you're in the seat of the landlord and you like most definitely are. Because the person watching this video, I can almost guarantee is the responsible one. The person watching it is like, they're straight A student, they study, they probably drink coffee two, three times a day. Like you're the one on it. <laughs> so you're the one who is probably gathering the people and trying to figure out who's gonna make the most sense. That's why you're watching this video. So you wanna, you're a mini landlord in of yourself. You gotta make sure everybody's towing the line. And the first thing you wanna get a feel for, for your potential roommate, is do they have a history of paying rent? And you just straight up should ask them that. You should have a whole interview. Have you paid rent? How much is your rent now? If they're like a roommate with somebody and they're thinking about moving out, you know, maybe, maybe where you live or where you're thinking about moving to, um, maybe is cheaper or more convenient to like their job or school. So you're gonna wanna ask them, like how much are you paying now? And if it seems like their portion of what they're paying now is gonna be similar to what they're, you know, they would be paying moving in with you, okay, that seems pretty positive. Then, like if it's a huge difference, like it's a drastic difference, you might wanna like think twice because they are not gonna be accustomed to paying something drastically more. Not that they, aren't but you know it's gonna might be a huge like financial shock to them and while it may sound great like oh like maybe they live in an apartment and you're gonna go rent a house and it sounds like totally cool or we're gonna have a house they might not be financially ready for that transition another thing is you want to ask them do you have proof of payment they should show like yeah pay and are they paying rent on time every month let do they pay it to the landlord or do they pay it to you know like sometimes there's like one main roommate and they collect the money and then they pay the landlord in one payment. So, you know, sh show proof, like you said your rent amount was this, are you paying it? And you wanna see proof of that. If they don't have proof of that, that might be like red flag number one to not room with them. You know, maybe you don't wanna bring them into your housing situation. The next question is, is this person responsible with their money? And these questions, typically when people look for roommates, it's one of two ways. They put up a posting online, like looking for a roommate, or, you know, they start looking around with friends. So if it's someone that you know, you know, or it's someone that you're interviewing that you've never met, you wanna see if they're responsible with their money. Keep in mind, most leases state jointly and severally liable. That means if one tenant, you know, like let's say there's three roommates and one roommate goes, yo, I'm not paying my rent this month. I don't have my portion the three other roommates are responsible for picking up that fourth roommate slack. So even if they go, yo, I, I don't have my money, and you go, hey, landlord, roommate four didn't have their portion, the landlord goes, you gotta pay the whole thing. So you guys all gotta come out of pocket and pay for fourth roommate. Which if you're watching this video, that might very well be the situation you're in and why you're probably looking for a replacement roommate or another roommate. You wanna see, you know, is this person responsible for their money? If you have a history with them, or they're in your friend group, or they're an acquaintance, you wanna get a vibe from them, do they pay their bills? Um, do they complain a lot about being broke? 
Do they spend their things on, you know, money on things that they can't afford? Do they have a lot of credit card debt? If you like know those things about them, you might want to like not consider them. If you're interviewing people to be your roommate, those are things that you, you're going to want to try to figure out. You want to see, you know, probably bank statements. Can you, can you afford to pay your portion of the rent every month? Again, have you been paying your other rent, you know, to your current landlord? So things like that. Their financial responsibility, roommates, one of the biggest issues with roommates is them not paying their portion of rent. That is probably 90% of the beefs that roommates have with each other is they didn't come up with their portion of the rent. I'm not gonna go into like the various ways that you can kick your roommate out. This is kind of more, you know, front loading how to pick a good roommate video. Getting them out is like a whole other nightmare that is outside the scope of this video and I don't deal with. That's like an eviction attorney issue. But you wanna see if they're responsible with their money and get a feeling from them if they're responsible for the money and have an interview. If they're evasive about answering these kinds of questions, red flag, red flag number two. The third question is, does this person respect boundaries? I don't know how much information, like if you're, if you're interviewing someone to be your roommate, it's a different process than a landlord interviewing someone to move in. The landlord will have a credit check, they'll have um, rental references, employment references, all those things. The landlord has a whole application because the landlord wants to make sure the person moving in is gonna be a good tenant who pays rent on time. You, kind of in the same boat. You want a roommate who's gonna be a good roommate, who's gonna be respectful, and is gonna pay rent on time. Like, that shouldn't be surprising to you. But you, again, if you're responsible and you're watching this, you're, you're like a little baby landlord on your own. So you want to see if this person, you know, respects boundaries. You want to talk to them or ask them about their current living situation, how many roommates they have, you know, are they sharing a room? Um, do they have their own separate room? You might want to interview like their roommates. Again, it's really tricky being a tenant and trying to like find a good roommate because someone trying to, you know, be your roommate might not be as forthcoming with you as like someone might be on a rental application with a landlord. You want to ask questions, maybe softball them, but you know, ask them, you know, do you have any shared responsibilities in the house or the apartment that you live in now? What are the kind of responsibilities that you take care of in the house or in the apartment? You know, do they like sweep and mop the floors? Do they vacuum? Do they take out the trash? Um, you know, do you do they rotate like someone cleans the shower and tub thing? Is like there's some sort of do they have some sort of routine in their existing place? And you have to get a little savvy on reading people. If they're lying, you know, it's gonna be, sometimes it might be easy to tell, like if they go, well, you know, like I clean up my room. Cleaning up your room, great, great, good start. But if they don't offer anything like, like that's it, and they don't go, oh, I clean, you know, I clean the bathroom or, you know, we have a rotation, you know, I throw out the trash. If they don't like volunteer that, there's probably because they're not doing it. It's not top of mind. So that's one thing. You also want to be mindful when you're living with other people. You have to have it. And this is something that's like hard to vet, I, I will admit to you, when you're trying to look for roommates. But you're, you know, you're probably gonna have guests over, you're gonna have significant others over, you know, boyfriend, girlfriends, friends over. You want to have an idea if they're gonna be respectful of those kind of boundaries. So you might want to ask them. Hey, in your current living situation, you know, how are you with, you know, guests coming over? How is that, you know, how is that handled where you stay at? Like if you have guests, you know, how, how do your other roommates react or how, you know, what's the protocol there? If other roommates, you know, say, hey, I, I want to have, maybe they want to have like the apartment to themselves for a few hours, you know, how do you address that? You want to kind of get an idea of like what, what environment is this person currently in and they're used to? And how is that maybe gonna be programmed into your place? Cause maybe you run a tight shift. Maybe you have, you know, really good communication. Maybe you have like a calendar and you go, okay, day one is Tom. Tom will clean the kitchen. Day two is John. John will clean the bathroom. Day three is Todd. Todd, you know, sweeps the floors and swiffers them. I don't know. You might like have some sort of routine in your place. So you wanna get an idea from them what routine that they come from and then you know ask them like you know can you could you do that would you be willing to participate in the in the cleaning of the house you know how do you take criticism like if someone told you that you needed to do your part are we gonna have beef and some people might be like no 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 because they want to move in and other people might be like straight up no i'm not that person so respecting boundaries and having you know like i personally have like i like a really clean environment 
I clean stuff. I'm very responsible for my things. I had to take care of stuff. I have been fortunate that I have not had to have roommates, so no one has come in and really wreaked havoc on my existence. But having roommates, it's almost like they're your boyfriend or girlfriend without being your boyfriend or girlfriend, and you're really like somewhat married in this situation, and you have to make it work. So you wanna get an idea, are they currently in a position where they're paying rent on time consistently? Ideally, their rent being somewhat comparable to what um, you're you know, asking them to pay for your portion, you know, that's what they're gonna be taking on. You wanna ask them or you know, try to ascertain from them if they're financially responsible in general and if they take, you know, they take things very seriously, if they show up to work on time, you know, do, are they steadily employed? Are they going to school? Do they go to classes? You know, are they consistent? And you want to see if they respect boundaries. You know, if they have some sort of routine in their own existence now where you feel like, hey, if you moved in here and we gave you some responsibility, you, we wouldn't have beef about it. Or, you know, we could plug you into some sort of system that we have here that creates some sort of cohesive environment. So yes, that is my little blurb. I hope that helps. I feel like a lot of people are always in a tough situation where they really, really need roommates, but they maybe don't vet them or don't know how to vet them. Or they have a friend that goes, hey, you know, my friend needs a place, can they move in? And you're woefully not prepared for this person. Or you have an idea, like this person complains a lot. They've admitted they don't pay rent. They don't show up to work on time. They have a lot of credit. Like if you have like some, you know, personal idea, you might want to think twice about having this person live with you because they're the ones who could get you in trouble. As much as you might be responsible, you might keep your, you know, room clean, you might do your parts around the apartment or the house, you might pay rent on time. When you're living with roommates, it becomes very tricky because you all have to be a team together and you're only as strong as your weakest link. And if someone moves in and they're not pulling their weight around the house and they're not paying their portion of the rent, it becomes very aggravating for you. And sometimes it's really hard to get people to move out and voluntarily move out so that you can move a more responsible person in. So one of the best things up front is to vet the person as much as you can. And if they're not willing to be forthcoming with information or they seem like they're evasive or they don't have any sort of reference, you know, like, yeah, you could talk to my current roommates. They think I'm great. Or like, yeah, here's my history of payment. If they hide all that stuff or they seem like they're lying, then you might not want to live with them because they're likely going to get you in trouble, um, could potentially put you on the chopping block for an eviction or get a judgment against you in your situation. So just be like, take it very, very seriously. And I know that's easy for me to say, but as much as you can, you could probably avoid a lot of headaches for yourself if you really vet people. If you like this video and you're a tenant, you might also like my reaction videos, which I, you know, react to a lot of court disputes with landlord and tenants. Usually they're about security deposits, sometimes about other things, but in there I tend to have tidbits also of advice for both landlord and tenant. So do with that as you wish, and I'll see you if I ever see you. Actually, I won't see you, but you'll see me potentially in another video if you so wish. And you can also like and subscribe, you know, if you want to make my day.